when you, you get hit by something, by life, just stay in your center and don't learn not to react. And then see what happens. Quite often, things start to go your way. You'll be amazed by not buying into it and reacting into things when don't go your way. You'll be amazed how they turn around and go your way. It's, uh, it's counterintuitive. It's exactly the other way around. And it's exactly opposite of what we've been taught or programmed in our lives that you have to go get it and you have to fight for it and you have to da 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 and it's very interesting when you just don't react to things and you stay in your center as long as it's you wait for the emotional stuff you know when something hits you first there's an emotional reaction because your nervous system is going to be stimulated and you're going to be all, ah, you know. But if you just train yourself to stay in your center and not react, even though it's been, you're right, even though there's an injustice is happening, that you are right, you know. You're, and someone's come and is lying or accusing you or taking away your rights and you in you are within your rights you know you're not lying you know you did, didn't do anything wrong but they're accusing you of it and you just stay in your center and you don't react to it but what happens is you don't go in the story because it's a trap. It's a trap by your own higher self. Because your higher self is not separated from that person who has come and accused you. Because it's all one. There's no separation. When you start to open up and you start to see that God is in everyone and everything. That spirit is in everyone and everything. And when something is happening to you, whether it's justice or injustice, it's still coming from your higher self because they're positioning you in this place to be challenged. And they want to show you whether you have found your own center and you have mastered yourself or you're still really identified with your ego. It's a test. And that test can be every day. Not every day you're going to have a very big thing happen to you, major thing, but every day you get tested by something in your life. And there are times big things happen. You have to learn how to stay still. There's no way out. Otherwise, you're in this boat that we talked about of emotions, and it's like a yo-yo, up and down and up and down and up and down, because you cannot control the events of life. You've got to give that idea I don't care how many times you read the book Secret. I don't care how many courses you've taken of self-empowerment or learning how to control things. You cannot control events in life. It's impossible. But you can find your center. You can find and reside in this place within yourself, which is still and not reacting to things.
And the more you connect with this place, the more you stay in your center. I mean, that's why they put their hands, namaste, and it's equilibrium, it's centeredness. You're here and you're in your center. And the more you come to this place and you recognize this place within yourself, then this pendulum, you know, is happening. There's pendulum, up and down, up and down. Things going your way, things not going your way. But if you, you know, you're holding a pendulum and you're, it's going like this, right? Pendulums, are you with me? Right? But pendulums are hanging from a focal point. There's a focal point that they swing from. The focal point doesn't change. It's very still. When you're holding a pendulum and it's going like this, the focal point doesn't move. It's the bottom part of it that is moving. The bottom part of it is you identifying with your emotions and your thoughts. So you're, so you're, you're here and then you swing to here. You're up and down. But if you bring your identification to the focal point, then there is no ups and downs in your life. Regard it's ups and, ups and downs of life, but you're not affected by it. Now, you're not controlling life to go your way. You're controlling yourself to not react. And that's much easier than trying to learn how to control life because that's impossible and no one's ever been able to do it. And they were much bigger, more powerful beings than you and I in the history that none of them could do it. They had millions of people following him. Napoleon, Hitler, Stalin, Chinggis Khan, different rulers in the world, conquerors, they came. Millions of millions of people were following him and they couldn't do it. With all that mighty power and, and army and arms and money and everything and momentum, they all failed. They cannot do it. They cannot control life. You have to find your own center so you don't react to it. Then you're free.